Oh, hey, welcome to a, another beautiful edition of the Lifestyle Show. I'm, I'm your boy, Lyle Van Harris. I'm here with you. Uh, it's, good, it's good to be back in the saddle. Good to be back on a brand new episode of my show. I have a my wonderful guest. And he's, he's been on my show before, but man, he is multi-talented. Multi-talented, a SAG actor, a motivational speaker. He does, he's a triple threat out there in the entertainment field. I want to, uh, I want to welcome uh, Charles D. Clark to the show. Hey, Charles, welcome to the Lyle Style Show, my, bro my brother. You're my brother in Christ. Thank you, man, for coming. Likewise, man. I'm happy to be here. It's always a pleasure and an honor, man. I'm grateful to be on such a phenomenal show. <laughs> Well, thank you. Hey, man, it, it's been a while because you was on the show before, man, and uh, that's when you actually was starting your your little career, your your little episode on on Empire, man. You was talking a little bit about that and 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 how you started being uh, uh, a walk on, so to speak, and how it grew, how God opened up doors for you to tell. Now, tell us a little bit about your experience with Empire, man. That, that's that's a amazing story. Well, I was, um, of course, my job was working in the mental health and behavioral uh, uh, field, and um, I was doing acting on and off for like almost nine years now. Um, so uh, when I heard about Empire, uh, Taraji and Terrence always been my, you know, some of my you know, top inspirations and, and people I looked up to. Uh, so read right about season, um, beginning of season three, no, the end of season two, Exhibitor came on as a guest, you know, uh, star. He wasn't even supposed to be a regular cast mate, but mm -hmm. because he did his job so well, they kept him on. And he's the first ever um, guest star that became a actual star, uh, regular star on the uh, on the Empire. So, uh, the beginning of season three, I remember um, I was going up there for like like about seven times. I think it was about seven times I was going to uh, Chicago, 14-hour mm -hmm. drive from where I'm from in VA. Wow. I didn't get seen out. I didn't get seen out one time. I was uh, an extra of a drug dealer, an extra of a crowd person, an extra of a pedestrian. Um, uh, just, you know, I was ready to give up, but I kept on, kept on, kept on being consistent. The eighth time that I went up there, uh, the episode, I think it was three or four of, uh, of season three, um, where Sean... But they had a memorial for uh, his brother, his good friend, and his brother, Nelson's brother, uh, Stone, at the garage in the hood or whatever. And um, that day, I wasn't supposed to be there in the eyes of man. They had overbooked me, but God had it all planned out. And um, they saw me, uh, the directors of them, they saw me, and uh, they told one of the guys to get off the stage and they was doing a camera test, and they told me to get on stage. Mm -hmm. And when they did the camera test, uh, they said they wanted to use me for, the, for, that, for that day. It was actually on Exhibit's birthday. Um, we were on the set for like 18 hours. It was a long day and early, you know, a long morning, but wow. it was worth it. And um, uh, 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 so at that time, it wasn't guaranteed that I was going to be one of his main goons. I was a street type goon, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Then about two weeks later, I got an email that said they wanted me as a, uh, I got upgraded to a featured, reoccurring uh, main group of signs. Wow. Um, for the entirety of his character. So when I went in, um, they um, they upgraded me, man, and gave me a wardrobe and all that stuff. Yeah. Wow. What, what, I mean, and, and, you, and like we were talking, you were telling me, man, that, that, you know, the Empire family became kind of like your family, man. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. I mean, I mean, uh, you know, they embrace me. I mean, even when I was an extra, they embrace me as family. They, they don't treat you like you, like you are, you know, um, a, a peon and say they want to see you grow continuity. So they always treat me like family and, and, and respect it. I respected them. I mean, them was showing Fox. So just to be there uh, in that vicinity, it was, it, it, was, it was amazing. It was a blessing. Oh, yeah, I know it was. Now, now, now I want to get, I want to kind of, uh, talk a little bit, just briefly a little bit about about your boy boy on on, on Fox. He, he got into a situation out there in Chicago, and 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 um, how, Jesse, how how's he doing? From what I've seen and what I've um, heard, um, Jesse, um, as, he, as he's you know he's moving forward. Um, he's still in the healing process. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are a lot of people who support him. There are a lot of people yes. who are not support him. Mm. We didn't think that it was staged or made up. Me personally, that's my empire family, that's my brother. I'm gonna stand by him. Um, I'm not gonna turn my back just you know him in, in the times that he need us. Mm -hmm. And even as even outside of the Empire family, as someone 
through went through something like that. Um, you, you wouldn't stand by each other. So, but the fact is, though, definitely because each part of the Empire family, when we come together, right. Empire United. Yeah, but, uh, we move forward. You know, we move forward. Like I said, once Empire, always Empire. Um, I love the fact that Jesse, he uh, he doesn't let things, uh, whether it's physically or emotionally, um, hold him down. Um, he don't look. He don't look for the pity party. Right. He's a soldier. Look what he did. He still went to a sold out event in California and, and a sold out crowd. He got the record straight of certain things that the media had messed up mm-hmm. about his real skin book, which is only bruised. By him being hospitalized for a couple of days, he's only hospitalized just for a checkup and cleared by his doctor in L.A. and um, um, there in Chicago or whatever. So they have a lot of a lot of things that the media just you have to realize. They will keep anything up to get that attention and to create that monster in order to keep things going because that's how they get their rating. Yes. At the end of the day, I say this: um, anybody in my empire family, I stand with. I love them. Uh, they've been backing me and supporting me even after I left um, in season four. I was there for two seasons, uh, ten episodes, and we still stay in contact with each other. We still support each other. So, um, yeah, I, I, I stand with Jesse. I stand with anybody, uh, uh, Empire, or anybody who just stands for, for, for uh, you know, fighting a good fight. Amen, amen. And you know what? And, and, and I go a shout out to him, Jesse. And saying the lifestyle show supports him too, and 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 so glad that he's doing well and God is with him and he's uh, singing and, and doing and doing what he and doing what, what what God you know gave him to do singing and acting so yeah, yeah. I definitely support him too my friend so um, um, I mean I, I tell you what man hey Charles may you go back a little bit me me you have a testimony you have a you have a very inspirational testimony um, uh, how how's that motivational speaking going? Are you still doing that, or do you plan to do that in, in the future? I, I, I do what I can. My acting career is definitely elevating. Uh, the last thing I did, um, I was in Richburg, Virginia. I did um, the Gospel Fest Benefit Program mm-hmm. fundraiser uh, for the church and their uh, affiliates, as far as like the homeless people, battered kids, and so forth. Um, we, made, we actually went above the goal that was expected, and I didn't get one dime. Usually, um, the person that said it's the headliner gets 20 to 30 percent. Right. I did not give out one dime. I refused to take anything from me doing God's work. Mm-hmm. Love that. And it was, all, uh, it was my second time being featured uh, in ABC News. Uh, God gets the glory. So, but uh, like I said before, motivation to me is like a band I'm a transmission speaker. I perform surgery. We, we, we do too much time trying to motivate and inspire people instead of get to the core of what's going on. Mm-hmm. And with me, I'm probably one of the most rawest speakers um, and advocates and all the time, and I'm not being arrogant, um, God gets the glory, but I've been there, like, me, I don't mind speaking at corporate events and, and such, but I go to the slums, I go where the, the, the inspiration and, and, and the work is needed. Um, the Baltimore riots, for instance, I was down there while it was happening, in the beginning stages of it, mm-hmm. and I was down in Baltimore as part of, one, uh, of the One Baltimore Movement, which that riot only exceeded L.A., Right. I was there with Pastor Jamal Bryant and other officials from the city hall and, um, you know, um, leaders. So I put in the actual work. Um, yes, we use social media to, to uh, you know, to, to make the, our platforms more aware of what's going on. But you have to have action behind it. I've um, been to the the White House. I've been on calls for the getting violent mm-hmm. in Hunger. I wrote Congress, attended events, and did markets for the veterans. All of my stuff is credible. Uh, what I've done as far as physical, the physical matter. So, and, and that's one of the reasons why, I, you know, I've said too, not only just like Taraji, but Taraji, she's uh, um, advocating for mental health. We do, th- we, we speak about it, but we also put action behind that. Mm-hmm. I think it's very important. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, that's very important, man. You're right about that, man. And, and I can say you, you're very, you, are, you're, you're, you transform people's mind. And so you're very good to do that because you have a very deep testimony. And, and man, in one of these days, man, you know, God willing, when, when the Lord takes me to the next uh, uh, plateau with the talk show, hopefully it's, it's syndication and whatnot, I want you to be my first guest because we can sit down and share each other's testimony, what God has done, done for our lives. Because uh, I am so hey, happy yes, and proud. Of course. Hey, brother, no, no question. You know, the thing about it is, um, yeah, when, the last time I was on your show, I was just breaking into 
the active platform. I didn't know yeah. if I was going to make it, survive. I didn't know if I was going to, you know, pass those variants. Mm-hmm. But I'm thinking about how great God is. Yeah. Uh, definitely great and amazing. It's not even a word that is sufficient enough about who he is and what he can do. Amen. Because, as everybody knows, my father died when I was six, a very horrific situation. I got into the streets in my mid-teens, drug dealing, well, street, uh, street enforcer, gang banging, and then I got to the drug dealing, the drug dealing um, at the end of my criminal activities, which landed me in prison, um, 21 going on 22. Then I did almost eight years, um, like I said, in federal prison, not in a county jail, mm-hmm. not in a no like, little small holding cell, mm-hmm. so to speak. I was in the penitentiary. Wow. And, um, and uh, that's when I found God, and I realized what my destiny, what my passion was for his glory. So when I got out, I just I applied that. Then my daughter was born a year later. Okay, I got an 09, um, and I, when I saw her for the first time, I realized it wasn't about me anymore. The accountability that had sustained in my spirit of my life um, was, now it was up to, in, in light for me to see. Mm-hmm. And um, my daughter told me the times I was ready to give up in acting. But people didn't believe in me. When people said, oh, he just took a fluke. He just going to do extra work and then went out of the side. Bell. He just, you know, as they were speaking, my daughter says, Daddy, I know you can do it. Bring home the Oscar. Bring home the Emmy. Bring <laughs> home. She was drilling me. My daughter. Wow. And he got this. And so you know it, man, I was doing a lot of extra work. Uh-huh. And then I was doing a lot of speeches. And then a lot of real courage. Now I'm doing, you know, uh, supporting roles and co-star roles now. Wow, and, and wow. And I'm just doing uh, my first lead role. Yeah. All because of faith, consistency, um, putting God first, giving him the glory. And, you know, of course, I'm going to say after actor. And I've been doing this for three years for mainstream out of the nine years that I've been involved in this industry uh, as a whole. Wow, amen. That's a testimony, brother. I am just flabbergasted at, at you. Ex- you inspired me, man. You inspired me. And, and speaking of inspiring now, I, you know, God. yeah, we want we want. I want to get get to your new your new feature now. Now, this character you play, uh, what's the name of the, what's the name of the movie? It's, it's kind of a thorough uh, thriller. So the, so, the, so, so the movie is called Vol Call. Okay. Um, it's it's Russian for Wolf. It's a horror action thriller suspense and drama. And drama. Um, it is man. It's it's on a different level. I play the ruthless psychopath and the range of uh, brutus. And believe me, that's the reason I grew my beard out the stick. Uh-huh. The preparation for this man uh-huh. has been an uh, unbelievable experience. My most challenging role. Um, shout out to Wes Lee, who stars, who plays Ball Call, uh, yeah. to the entire cast through production. Also, shout out to our director, uh, George Dibble, uh-huh. one of the top directors um, in our time. Um, he is the CEO and founder of Alyssa oh. Productions. Right. Also, shout out to his wife, his queen, who runs the production side. Uh, Candace. So, okay. okay, so, yeah, so wait, no, no, you but, play, uh, you play this character called Brutus, uh, Brutus. Yes, uh, yeah. Okay, I, I yeah. we, have, we got maybe a memory picture of Brutus, uh, uh, that we got, and you, and you, uh, um, we can come put up on the screen that, uh, and you play like a different type of character, uh, and uh, now, now, what oh, is, man, yeah. what is Brutus like? What, what is Brutus like? Uh, Brutus, uh, it's funny you ask that. Brutus have an interesting backstory, but I'll have to say that for later, but I will tell you this. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brutus, Brutus. Uh, was spared the life, Brutus was Brutus. spared the life of, of, uh, of, uh, Volkov. Volkov, as he, he's actually Volkov's, uh, ghoul. So, or, or goon, so to speak. Goon, ghoul, what you want to call it. He has his Volkov and everything. Uh-huh. And he has special powers. Oh. Not as, like, Volkov have. But, he, but he's not, he's far from, from being normal. Brutus is very loyal to Volkov, and he pretty much does what Volkov says. I mean, he, he has a free range of, of tactics and approaches uh-huh. on how to get his missions done. Right, And right. a lot of them, if, if Brutus is not pleased, his extremities of, of getting his point across to make sure that his respect is known is very... Very painful. Yeah. Oh wow! Really? So Brutus yeah. is a Brutus is a psychopath, so to speak. 
He's a, he's a psychopath. He's deranged. I mean, he can say, okay. yeah, so conscious. Yeah, yeah, that, so conscious. Yeah, now you can't, yeah, you you look real like a psychopath on that picture with your, with your cigar in your mouth, man. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It's, it's, it's amazing, man. It's amazing, man. I mean, the way uh, when I was reading the script, man, it was out of like, oh, my God, I'm about to really dig deep. I mean, this guy is, a, is, 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 is far from uh, the humanity as we know of, the traditional uh -huh. humanity of being, you know, uh, with Sam, he's, um, man, and, and, and he has no type of, of feelings, man. He really doesn't. Wow. He really yeah. doesn't. It's yeah. like, if he's going to do it again, not. If not going to do it again, you know, whatever. And, and he likes to, he loves to see people suffer who go against his command. Like, <laughs> a quick kill for him is something he don't really enjoy. He enjoys the long and juicy pain. Wow, man. I mean, what did it take you to... Because now, you wish you was dead. <laughs> now, you didn't take that character home with you, man. I know you didn't, man, because you, you, you definitely used the opposite of this character. This character, I mean, so you, you have know, to really get... In, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a method actor. I know when to turn on and turn off. Uh -huh. However, sometimes you have to have, keep a piece, of, a piece of that character alive. So right. I go in my room, uh -huh. I play some type of music, uh -huh. I, I stand to the walls, and then in my own world. Um, I pull from different characters of people that I'm inspired by, um, like Steve Ledger and Jared Leto and, you know, even Anthony Hopkins. Right, uh, right. He was, he was the past of life. So I pull from different people. I pull from different characters because, because with, with Brutus, he has a high intensity attitude and aura. But there are times where when he's calm, and, and see Dallas, he is yeah. most dangerous. His yeah. masterpiece is shown the most. Uh huh. Wow. He's very man. brilliant. He's very brilliant in the most psychotic way. Uh huh. If you say, if you say the Albert Einstein, yeah, of of psychopath. Okay. That's him. That's <laughs> Smart and dangerous at the same time, man. And, very, and he's very comical. He's comical. Is he? Okay. You know, he's okay. comical. He's not. He's not too flamboyant like a joker. Uh huh. But he won't, he won't have a lot of fun to let you know that he can strike when he wants to in right. his playing field. Right, Just right. Let me know. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. All right. Okay, so, so, so the name of the, uh, of the thriller is called Vo Vogar? What's it? Vogar. Vogar. Oh, oh, oh Vogar. 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 Man, okay. Yeah, and, and it's, by, it's, it's by Alicia Productions, uh -huh. uh, found the CEO, George Depp, who's also the director and producer of, of this entire okay. uh, movie project. And like I said, his wife, uh, Candace, who's, in, who's doing a phenomenal job of production uh -huh. in other uh, parts of the area, along with the crew and other cats. I mean, it's going to be a powerhouse. Yes. It's going to be a powerhouse. Yeah, man. I mean, when, when is that coming out? Do you, do you have a date for it yet? Uh, well, well, we're shooting for it right at the beginning of the summer. It okay. might be a little bit before then. We don't know just yet, but definitely by the summer. Uh, as we pro you know, progress in um, those timelines, yeah. I'll make sure to keep you posted. Okay, definitely keep me posted about that. Because that, that seems like a very, oh, uh, man, very good thriller, man, that, that I, can, oh, man, yeah. I, can see, I can sit down and see that with my girl sitting out right next to me watching that. And, you know, and she getting close to me because she getting scared. And, and, and I, I say, I know him. And she probably say, no, you don't. Well, yes, I, think, I, do. I tell you what. If you want your girl to jump on you and hold you tight, uh -huh. uh, then you will love Buddhist. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay, I'm a, I, hey, you know what? And Volkov, and Volkov, <laughs> definitely Volkov. I mean, he's a star. Volkov is, the, you know, the info that he has on Brutus uh -huh. is phenomenal. Yeah, um, yeah. Volkov is this, um, his character is like, he's like, a, he's like a scientist, man. Right, right. A scientist, a, 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 he has a presidential state atmosphere. Like, uh -huh. he don't have to do too much talking in order to know that he is the boss. Oh, okay. That, that's, that's the most dangerous yeah, person. He's, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But when he speaks, when he speaks, uh, and I say, when he speaks in his voice, he awakens earthquakes and tornadoes. Ooh, shoot. And big, big volcanoes erupt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And about what he has. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect, yeah. Even nature respects him and, and, and follows his command. Yeah. Okay, okay. I definitely like that. I, I def I, I can't wait till it comes out. You can keep me posted with that now. Now, now, you, are you working on some more scripts or, or what's coming up in the horizon? Uh, well, um, right now, um, I, 
Michael C. Jenkins uh, lead role uh, uh -huh. in a faith-based uh, uh, film. He's still uh, in negotiations, but uh, most likely I will be doing, I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a phenomenal group of people, man. I mean, phenomenal. Uh, I can't get into it. Um, also, um, I'll be returning to HBO, uh, Rutgers Gemstones, which is a movie by my bro, mm -hmm. Enemy Bride. Uh, he, uh, you know, crazy of the show, started, of course, with Don Goodman, Adam Devine, Greg Allen Williams, a lot of heavy hitters. Uh, so I was part of the palette, and the palette got picked up on my birthday of last year. I covered the second. Oh, by really? HBO. So, yeah, I got that going. Also, um, there's a possibility I might be coming back to Stephen King's Mr. Mercedes as a, as a detective on a t Universe. Oh, good. So some of the things coming my way. That, yeah, yeah. That is excellent, man. You, I mean, you, God is opening the doors for you, man. You are rocking and rolling. You are rocking and rolling, man. Hey, I mean, man, it's, it's all him. I don't take no credit. I don't take no credit. It's all God. To God, God to the glory. Now, now I'm going to ask you a quick question a little bit about, now, now you are a SAG actor. What was the feeling was like when you really got your SAG card? Um, I cried a little that, uh, because, um, you know, we, we know SAG is like the, the highest level of acting right. that you can do. Whether yes. you're SAG, I mean, whether you're a singer, an actor, a uh, director, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's like the NBA level, NFL level. And when you look at it, I used to have a card in prison. A prison ID. Yeah. I have a SAG card. Right, right, right. So it was it's the, it was the greatest moment of my life, and other than my daughter. Other than, um, yes. To achieve that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it, it was phenomenal. I mean, I was in shock. I was like, wow, is, is this really real? <laughs> I'm no longer, I'm no longer in, you know, in the beginning stages. I am now a professional. Right. There you go, my friend. You know, there you go. I'm part of fraternity. I'm part of Hollywood's biggest and oldest fraternity. Mm -hmm. what, what, I mean, and an actor, that's the highest badge you can get. That's right. And you got to work it now. That's right. Know? That's right. You're absolutely right about that. So, so I want to ask you a question, too. One more question. Who, who, who would you say that inspires you? What person, one person, a person, whatever, or one person, whatever, who inspires Charles D. Clark? There's so many, man, but let me give a shout-out real quick. Um, first of all, I'm going to shout-out to Simon Henry, um, who's with uh, you know, Fox Empire, Carlito Rodriguez, and last but not least, uh, Steve D'Amato. Uh, he's the AD, which means assistant director to Empire. Okay. Most of my uh, Him and his wife. episodes of Empire, yes, yeah, Steve D'Amato, yes. Phenomenal, phenomenal. He, I don't hear more than anybody um, as far as the episodes with me and Shine and um, the rest of the crew. And Steve always gave me, uh, the mentor me, showed me how to, you know, be directed. You know, if you can't be directed on set, then mm -hmm. I'm going to become a great actor. Mm -hmm. So his influence um, as a uh, assistant director or a director, a lot of times, he did, you know, he, like I said, he directed as well. Right. Um, he... Um, he gave me that 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 feature that feature um, spot that I needed for the world to see that wait a minute Charles Clark is about to get to the next level. Right. So I got to give him a huge. I got to give him. I got to give him a huge thing. Yeah, and, and, and he does um, a, a careful. Uh, uh, and, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve. Also, his also his wife, um, Casey Demato. I mean. Uh, you know, they both put it I mean, of course they married, so uh -huh. you congratulate one and congratulate both because they come in, you know, as one. Right. But yeah, yeah. Steve DeMato, man, is one of the greatest human beings that I've met. Okay. Uh, not just in Hollywood, but in general. And Jerry, now, 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 does he have a product that you was telling me about? Yes. So, uh, it's, just, it's amazing. Of course, we know. Whether you're in Hollywood or right, right. just, um, every, you know, just living in your own, you know, a healthy lifestyle, we want to keep our youth. Not right. everybody can have the youth look like Brother Lyle. Right. <laughs> so, what can we do that is natural? Right. The most natural anti-aging skincare line out there that everybody on every level of the industry is using. Yeah. Um, Ariel's of, of skincare. Okay. Which is yeah. by uh, of Steve and his wife, uh, Casey. Uh, it, is, um, it has been in uh, some of the top magazine articles, beauty magazine articles, 
Um, it's been endorsed by some of the biggest people in the industry. Um, how it, you know, removes the wrinkles, you no know, tighten the skin, you can glow, uh, being to the point where you don't even need the makeup. And this is to be for guys and, um, and, and gals. You know? Okay, okay. Uh, so, yes. Um, little thing about me, I, I, you know, just because it's their product, I can't really say or endorse it uh -huh. if it really doesn't work. And I must say, just as real as Steve Zamato and his wife Kate Zamato, uh -huh. that product is real just like they are. Oh, wow, wow, okay. I, I see that. And then, All you gotta do is Google it Ar Ariel on skincare. Ariel, yep, yep, yep we, got, we got it up there. Ariel skin. Yes, believe me. When yep. I get my when I get my wrinkles, I'm coming right there to to to, to get that product, bro. Come on, man. Come on. 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 Back, what, what, what comes to your head? Uh, Oscars. Okay. Oscars. What's that again? Oscars. Um, grandma. I said I get my first Oscar. I was it to my grandmother. Okay. Uh, because okay. She, okay. Uh, helped me with um, me becoming an actor before she died. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Um, I would say, um, hmm, the love of your life. That's what pops in my head. My daughter. Your daughter. Your daughter. Amen. Your daughter. That's right. Okay. I would say, uh, uh, let's see, one more. Okay. Um, uh, Super Bowl. <laughs> Super uh, boring. <laughs> so, congrats to the Patriots. Congrats to Tom Brady. He is the GOAT. Uh -huh. But it was one of the most boring Super Bowls ever. Yeah. And of course, facts. <laughs> There you go. Yep. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? Hey, Charles, I totally agree with that, man. I totally agree. It was boring, man. I, I, you know, they, I mean, he pulled it off again. They, you know, they did. But it was a boring game, man. But, uh, uh, yeah, when I think of Super Bowl, I think about boring. But uh, other than that, man. But, I, but, I'll tell you, but, but I'll tell you what's not boring, though. What? The Magic P says my inspiration, my empire stand, my sister in Christ, uh -huh. finally got her name in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Really? Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen to that. Now yes, that that's long time deserving, yep. Yeah. And shout out to her, her husband Calvin, because again, I mean, well, her future husband, but 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 I'll just claim it. Right. And also to Stepman Dave, who's a celebrity bodyguard, and he's my mentor as well. Got mad love for me. He always been there for me. But yeah, man, um, yeah, she finally got it. Amen. And one day your name's gonna be on there. The last hey, time. Hey, there, <laughs> there you go, brother. Hey, you know, I can't you know what? I can I'm gonna be right there when you win your first uh, 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 Screen Actor Guild Award, and then your first Golden Glove Award, and your Oscar, man. I want to be right do. there on that stage. Please do. Yes, yes. I want I want to be right there, sitting down there, cheering you on, my friend, because God be the glory, and you're gonna do Thank a good you. job. You 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 you're getting it. You just you just you just got that. You got that vision. I know God's going to do great, great things for you, man. So, say, so Charles, man, again, thank you for, for being on the Loud Style Show, my friend. And, man, you are a family. You're my family. And you're always welcome, man. You come out here to Iowa City, you want to come, you definitely come down and check me out. Likewise. And we can um, syndicate it, which I know you are. Yeah. Let me know. Yes. And I'll be there, brother. Your first guest. Okay, I'll good. Amen, brother. Yes. That is, that's a date right there, friend. So, so God bless you. I thank you and whatnot. Right. And, uh, you, you know, God's got great things for you again. I uh, said shout out to, to your daughter. Tell her I said hello. And I know she's, you know, thank she's you. grown. She's going to do good things too. So I want to say shout out to my mom. Mom, I love you. Uh, you've been my inspiration. Thank you for supporting me. I also want to say shout out to Denzel, man. I'm sorry for bumping you, man, but I had to have my boy, my brother in Christ on the show, Charles, man. So next time, Denzel, you're going to be on my show, man. God bless you. And I want to give a shout out to, 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 to uh, the love of my life, to the person that I that got my heart, and she knows she is. And so, shout out to you, sweetheart. And so, um, and so that my producer said, wrap it up. I want to say, tell everybody to keep style and profile, and also keep it classy out there, and always love one another. I'll see you next time on Loud Style Show. Bye. <laughs>